What is going on everyone? My name is Kodamore and welcome back to Web Development Episode 11. In this episode, we are going to be talking about two things that you are going to be using a lot in your future web development, and that is div and span. The div and span tags are two different ways that allow us to group HTML elements together. Now, when I teach you this in this tutorial, all of this is going to seem pointless. It's going to seem like div and span have no use whatsoever. But in later tutorials, when we get into CSS, which we're going to get into very soon, we are going to be using div and span so much, so it's very important that you know what div and span do. We're going to begin with div. Div is called a block element that basically allows us to group a bunch of uh, HTML elements together. So we have div here, and we can put any HTML elements almost inside of the div and do whatever. So we can write whatever here, maybe pop in a break tag, hello, just random stuff. And if we run this page, it's going to look completely normal. Div doesn't do anything just yet. But div is also very similar to the paragraph tag because if I copy this div and we paste it down here, so now we have two divs and I'm just gonna write uh, something else in here, notice how we have no break tags whatsoever. Well, div, because it's a block element, Basically, every time you have a new div, it's going to place it on a new line. Again, this seems absolutely pointless. I mean, this is very, very, very similar to the paragraph tag, and it doesn't even do anything, but trust me, we'll be using this a lot. So div, very similar to the paragraph tag, you can put anything in it almost, and it's going to become very useful later on in this series. Next, we are going to be talking about the span tag. Span is like div, it does absolutely nothing for us right now, but span is instead what's called an inline element, meaning it's not going to create a new line if we have another span or whatever. For example, if we say uh, my car is, maybe we'll put a span here and we'll close a span like so, and we'll say my car is red like that. And we save this and we run our web page, it's going to look normal. As you can see, red is completely unaffected. The span tag didn't do anything. But if we had this as a div, so if we have div red and close the div like so, and we ran this, you'll see that div will actually place red on its new line, whereas span will not do that. Again, this seems useless right now, but we can do so much with it later on. And if we have, say, another span element down here, span like so, and we'll put, um, What's up? I spelled that all wrong, who cares? We'll reload the page, as you can see, it does not create a new line for us. It just stays on the same line, and it's just a way to group HTML elements together. This has been a very, very, very simple tutorial, but get in the habit of using div and span tags to organize all your things, and we're gonna learn just how to do that and why we can do that in future tutorials. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, where hopefully we will begin learning CSS, or actually making our website look good. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.